hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to understand how actually we can do a transformation by using azure data factory here we are going to understand the two transformation one is the joint transformation and second is the union transformation so we have a uh, some requirement and based on that we will try to understand so that we will get a clear idea okay so we have a uh, two table suppose you have a uh, two table one is the employee table and one is the department table okay in this employee table you have all the in employee information and he in the department table you have department related information so what you have to do you have to join these two table okay by using a joint transformation and then finally you have to store this table into a storage account okay storage account you have to store in the form of the json okay so that is the requirement we have so here we will see how actually we can perform a joint transformation okay now there is one more scenario that is a union transformation so we have a two table one is the employee table and second one is the employee mumbai table employee mumbai is nothing but a here we have all the information about the mumbai here we have all the information about other country okay so what we have to do we have to union it both the table we have to union it both the table by using a union transformation and then we have to store into the azure storage account then we have to store into azure storage account so that we are going to see in this particular video so let me try to explain you more okay so let me try to show you the table first so i have a two table okay so i have a employee table you can see i have in the employee table i have id name and the salary all the employee okay and the designation i have information in the department table okay so what actually we are going to do we are going to do joining of the both the table and we will get the final result id name salary and the their post okay so for that we will use a joint transformation so let me open my data factory studio i'll go to the author i'll click on the data flow because we are doing a transformation in previous video we have already seen like how actually we have to create the azure sql database how to create a data factory and all right so and how to create a data flow so i have created one data flow i will select the first source click on the first source we have to create a data set so i'll click on the create data set what is my first data so that is azure sql database so i'll select that i have to create a connection first so i'll select that i select the subscription i select the server name i select the database okay i'll give the username and the password okay and finally i'll click on the create okay these two steps are uh, we have to follow we have to create a data set we have to create a link service now what is my table name that we have to select it so uh, my table name is employee table that is my first table okay okay now you have to add one uh, another data source right so for that i will click on this add source so here also we have to create a data set so i'll click on this data set i my source is nothing but a sql database so i'll select that i'll try to use the same link service okay and i will give the different table name okay so as of now i will give the department table okay i'll click on the okay now if you want to preview your data what we have to do we have to click on the data flow debug and we have to data preview it okay we have to click on the data flow debug option to view the data and you have to click on the data preview okay so as of now you can see data flow debug once it will be ready you will be able to see the data preview okay now in the source to we have a, a department information so what actually i will do i will give this as a department the name also let's specify this is a department and this is a employee source okay now if you want to preview your data you can go in the department we have a department id and the salary uh, and the designation i think an employee we have all the other information id name and the salary now <coughs> now what we have to do we have to apply a joining right so to apply a join transformation you have to click on this plus and after that you have to select the join okay once you will select the join these are the option we have to select you can see the left stream what is your first stream that is a employee so we have selected 
what is your right stream what is your second table so for that we will select our second table that is a department okay now what kind of the uh, trans uh, what kind of the join we want to perform we have a full outer join inner join left join right outer or cross join this all the join we can perform inner join only the common record you will get all in a left join you will get all the record from the left table only the matching record from the right table right table you will get all the record from the right table only the matching record from the left table okay and full outer join okay so here whatever it will match it will show otherwise it will show as a null okay as of now we are going with the inner join whatever uh, it will match from both the table that we will select it so i will select the inner join okay and based on what actually we want to join so we want to join based on the id id from first table and department id from the second table now if you will preview it you will get whole data okay you will get id name salary and the department id and the designation you can say we are getting id name salary department id and the post designation also means we are getting all the data and finally we will try to store into into our sync location that is nothing but our for that we will create azure storage account i will select the azure blob storage click on the ok i want to save into a json format so i will select the json click on the continue i will select the link service i will create a new blob storage so this all the stuff we have already done right all the same kind of the process we have to follow we have to click on the create so that is how our the pipeline will get ready okay now if you want to select the path where you want to save you will select that and okay for that we have to specify the path here okay so this is how actually we can perform a this is how we can perform a our joint transformation i hope you got overall idea if you will go to the sync and if you can do a data preview you will get all whole idea okay as of now we haven't set up our sync location okay so that is why it's giving error so let me try to do a setup first i'll go to my storage account i'll try to create a container and here i on, i want to store that output create so this is the container i have created in a data storage account what i will do go to the sync we have to create a data set i, I forgot to save that okay continue i want to store into a json azure blob storage specify the path output container click on the okay click on the okay now your data will get saved if you want to preview you can preview it you will get the data and means our pipeline is running fine if you are able to see the data here only you have to run it and you have to publish it so that is how actually we can perform a joint transformation now what we will see we will see how actually we can uh, do a union transformation so for that we will create a new pipeline so what i will do i'll go to the data flow click on the new data flow we will select a source i'll select my first source i'll select my second source that is our department okay uh, i think uh, i have another table okay so i'll create a new data set azure sql database i will select the same link service i'll select the different table so i have employee mumbai table and click on the okay now this table indicate the employee mumbai table and this table indicate the all the employee employee okay now we have to do a union that means it will be the combination of all so for that we will use a union transformation here we have to union it so what you have to select what is your incoming is employee you want to union with employee mumbai the second source right so that is the condition we have to give now if you will go okay now go to the optimize 
inspect id name id name salary ok let's see what is the error let us see what is the error ok ok so the name I have given that is wrong so we will give this name I will go to the union I will go to the data preview and click on the refresh now you can see it will be the combination of all the record from first table we are getting a how many records we are getting a 6 record you can see we have 5 record in first table and in second table we have a two record 6 and 7 so when we do a com uh, union so we are getting the whole record 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 record ok so that is how we can perform a union and if you want to save into a sync so that you can select it what is where actually we want to store so for that we have to select our data set think we already have a json so this one only will select so this is how actually we can create a, a data flow and we can use a union and the joint transformation i hope you got idea